Stop 10, The Castle, and The Million Dollar Biffy. This stop in the tour brings us to a spot with sweeping views of the park and two fine examples of rustic architecture, the castle and the million dollar biffy. When you first approach the castle, it is difficult to believe that this elaborate structure is only a picnic shelter. As with other structures in the park, the use of native stone and curving architectural lines allows the castle to blend into the landscape around it. Complete with archways and a winding stairway to an observation level, the castle exemplifies the pride and craftsmanship put forth by the men of CCC Camp BR-10. From atop the castle, you can see stunning views of the park and reservoir, including the conservation area to the west. On the lower level, as you look out through the two archways, notice how they frame Laramie Peak, the highest point in the area. The castle is an excellent example of how rustic architecture attempts to bring together landscape and structure. Just down the trail from the parking lot is the Million Dollar Biffy, another good example of rustic architecture seen here at Guernsey State Park. In the early 1900s, the term Biffy was commonly used to mean outhouse. At first glance, one would not guess that this ornate stone structure is simply a restroom. And though it didn't cost a million dollars to build, Records show the Biffy really cost only about $6,000. Its workmanship would be difficult to match today. Exceptional architectural design and the friendly competition between the men at Camps BR-9 and BR-10 transformed simple structures like picnic shelters and outhouses into the finely detailed, well-crafted buildings we see here today. The partnership between the Bureau of Reclamation, National Park Service, and CCC together with forward-thinking park planners and a beautiful landscape, helped make Guernsey State Park one of the most significant Depression-era parks in the nation. The successes at Guernsey became a model for park service planners across the country and would lay the groundwork for some of the most beautiful and popular facilities in our national parks.